All right, so I've been getting asked a lot for like a store tour, like a tour of the store, right? And uh, I think we're gonna do one, we're gonna do one real quick because I want to do one later when we got everything situated in the way that we have it and the way you know I want it. But we're getting there, and so we've been open for three months now. And so what I want to do is kind of take you through the store here, what we have going on, how we've got things set up, how I've got things set up in the back and uh, what we've got here. Again, if you haven't liked, comment, subscribe, please do so, that helps me out so, so much, especially if you hit that like button, it helps us so much with the algorithm. Also, if you share the video, it also helps us grow. Let's get South Dakota popping, let's get it open. All right. Share a video to help a brother save his job. <laughs> All right, so right when you walk into the store, you're gonna kind of see, I like to put like newer releases out and I only put like a couple, you know, here and there. So I have the Cool Grey 11s that just came out. I like to have like the newer releases out. And also with this, I really got a lot. So if you need one, come hit us up. We got pretty much all the sizes. I've been leaving this out because I only have a full few left. These are hot cakes and they're kind of a newer release. I believe these released over in Europe right now and they are not uh, in the States yet. I think you have to order them. That's the only way to get them right now. Crazy, crazy shoe. Definitely a newer release. Over here, every store has to have a, a trusted, uh, another owner and a brother. And obviously you guys have seen Dal, remember Turkey Butt? That's Turkey <laughs> Butt. And uh, so Dal, what would you say with really quick, really quick, what's your favorite part of the store? Cause we're doing a tour, uh, tour of the whole store. My favorite part of the store is right here in the front where I see everybody come in and just to be able to greet everybody and everyone smiling to be able to come in here. This is my favorite part of the store. What's up? That's it, that's pretty slick. So but this is the Jordan 1 wall. So all the way up here to the Jordans, we try to like to keep uh, some of our more like expensive Jordans, the more Grayley type Jordans up on the top. Then we got a bread toe up there right now and a shattered backboard. And then as they go down, I kind of wanted to organize it by price, but then I kind of just figured if I have the more spendy ones up top, we can just kind of fill it in down as we go. And I like to keep this stocked of just like only Jordan 1s. For us here in South Dakota, Jordan 1s are, one of our top selling shoes. For me, it goes Jordan 1s, Jordan 4s, Dunks, and Air Force 1s. Yeah, weird. Those are my top four selling shoes right now, in case you're wondering. Then we got these cool blocks that someone in the mall gave us, which is pretty cool. Been gifted a lot of things since we've been here. And so these uh, Air Jordan 4s, we got, we just started low on, like, just putting random shoes on here, just when you come in here. It's kind of a cool aesthetic. So we go from the Jordan 1s, we painted this really cool mural. Shout out Walter Ports. So he's a really good uh, um, artist here in town in the uh, city of South Dakota. I'm gonna make sure that Tanner puts his name in the video. Tag him right here on uh, Walter Ports' Instagram. Go check out his artwork, and if you need work done, he's the man for it. He pan painted this whole mural right here on Michael Jordan with literally just a paintbrush, and he put a projector screen up and hit it. I mean, it was it's insane. And so coming over to here, we wanted to try to keep all the Jordans on this wall, of course, because we have a picture of Jordan. Makes sense, right? And it wouldn't be a sneaker wall if we didn't have a basketball hoop. <laughs> so a sneaker store if we didn't have one of those, right? So, I mean, that's we do uh, contests with that sometimes. We have it there when we get bored. I mean, I, eventually we are going to have a full-size basketball court, full-size thing in one of the stores that we're going to do. So stay tuned for that. We got some of the Jordan 5s, our Jordan 5s down there. Uh, we kind of like to put a lot of the shoes we have, like, a lot of out on these blocks. And then we come over here, and here's the retro wall. We've got Jordan 3s, Jordan 4s, Jordan 5s, Jordan 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way to 11, 12, 13, 14, and we have 115, the Billie Eilish. Well, we have some grails up there too. Like we've got a bunch of like the Jordan 11s, 4s, uh, just uh, anything you think. We've got a bunch of the white cements, and I mean, we've just got, we've got a lot of different retros, but we like to keep it all on that wall. So that's what that wall is. Come over here, just like a sidebar, we have baby shoes. Right now, we're kind of running low on baby shoes. We had a bunch of baby seat foam stuff like that. But bottom line is, this is where we like to keep all the baby shoes. Um, they're a big seller for us, especially um, around this area, especially around the holidays, you know, Christmas pictures, stuff like that for kids. This is where we like to keep all that. Over here is one of our grail walls. So this is where we put all the shoes. They're like $1,000 plus, $700 plus, stuff like that. We have a lot of shoes up uh, here and right there that we like to put up there again, just depending on price, height, um, things like that. So it's like a grill wall. Come this way. This is our register area. So this is where people buy, check out, obviously. Uh, we have a computer back here, check out mod right here. We work with Clover, shout out Clover. Um, right in here we have like rookie cards, um, like Jordan rookies. We got uh, 
Patrick Mahomes rookie. We got Jason Tatum rookies. Stuff in here that I don't even know I would necessarily sell. I'm kind of saving it for my boys. I'm hoping one of these cards in here will blow up. Um, I buy some cards, but only if they're like graded. You know, if they're graded a PSA 8, 9, 10 or whatever. I only have a couple uh, raw cards because, you know, you don't really know the value until you get graded. Um, so we have like a TV back there where we usually always show on one of the best YouTube channels uh, on YouTube right there. Don't know if you've checked it out, but that's what we have rolling back here most of the time. Look at the timing. Oh, perfect, right? Because I love to watch myself all day long. I just like to watch myself all day long. <laughs> and then you come over here. And then we have more of the grail wall. So we just have some other ones right here. So like Turtle W Easy, stuff like that. And then just like a mixture of stuff. We did have the grow wall set up differently, but my employees like to come in here and just like move stuff around without even asking me. It's pretty awesome. Thanks a lot, Victor, for moving those around. Hat wall. So we have the, the fitted game is starting to explode. We're in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, so it takes about two years to get to us. So like some of the things that were popping two years ago in California, Arizona, all those places are now like really popping here. And fitteds are making their way here, you know. They've always been popular hats, obviously. But I know the hat game is blowing up in a lot of places. So right now I'm getting ahead of it. Um, right now we don't have much of a hat wall. This is pretty much all we've got. But we plan on building up and going all the way to the top with it and doing a bunch of different things. Um, right here, if you notice and you follow our Instagram, we have a backdrop right here. And the reason why we have this here is for like when you take, I like to take pictures of when people take, have a sale or, you know, if they buy something. Everybody's super stoked when they buy a shoe that's three, four, five hundred dollars or whatever have you. But when you go and take a picture of it, we tag you, put you on Instagram. It's just a really cool remembrance. The flex of wall. Day. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can flex it. It's, it's a flex wall. It. There you go. Whatever you want to call it. This is really cool. And then the cool thing about this is too, we uh, have another one. This is what we take to events. And so when you see us at a sneaker con or anything like that, Look for this backdrop, backdrop, and we'll be there. These are changing rooms. I don't know if you've ever been to a lot of sneaker shops, but they don't let you try stuff on. So these are pretty much just like storage and stuff like that. We do let people try on shoes here and there. We'll roll out like a red carpet. You can put the shoe, like the right shoe on only and uh, see if it fits, but that's about as far as we go with that. We've got some random shoes up here um, that we just kind of need for space. We're already kind of starting to outgrow this shop. So we've been putting shoes of like doubles and triples that we have up there. And also it's winter time right now. So we have a lot of golf shoes and stuff like that up there. But if you needed like a Jordan 11 golf shoe or a metallic five, we've got you in a size 10, 10 and a half. You guys gotta check those out. Now, more hype, more what's hot right now. This is our dunk section. So we carry some SB dunks over here. Some other stuff you've probably never seen before like Dibukes, these are pretty cool. It's a consignment shoe. But, you know, we have got like some off-white dunks over here. We've got some SB dunks over here, some lasers, and then we've got regular dunks. You know what I mean? We have panda dunks, a bunch of stuff over in this corner. So over things that we have in here, we usually have in multiple sizes too. We put or like a few out. I like to try to put every single shoe out that we have in the store. Um, it drives my employees crazy because I don't need doing that, but I like to have everything out. I like to have that off factor, especially when you walk in and you have a big shoe wall. At one point, I think it'll be dope. I believe Cookies and Kicks does that too, right? Taylor, they put like every shoe they have out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Shout out Cookies and Kicks, manager over there, dope. We got some foams up here. We've just got a lot of different varieties. Just like with the retro wall, we have shoes over there that I know that you're not gonna really see when you go into a lot of sneaker shops unless they're like used. We got them DS, which is crazy. A lot of different foams, just nuts. If you're into foams, and then like some more Jordan 14s and stuff that came in. Jordan 1 Lows we put over here, and then like mids. So mids have kind of been a big thing around here. They've been selling out like crazy, and I'm sure they've been selling out in your area too, especially specific colorways. The mids have been hitting like i'll be honest with you i think this is one of the cleanest mids that's been out in a minute these laces right here and everything i mean these are just a really really clean mid um i think this is a clean mid too some people will hate me for saying that on this one but i think it's really cool um if you come down some more jordan one lows and just kind of like a variety of things and some of the starfish so some of this stuff is probably we're out of order already uh sakai fragments all the stuff like I said, Air Force Ones. Normally I have like two, three of these blocks all set up and I have Air Forces on it. This is all I'm down to and they go quick. Clothing, don't want to miss clothing. We have Bape, Essentials, V-Loan, whole bunch of different types of different, uh, clothing. 
So we keep it all in plastic wrap, obviously, because we're in the Midwest, people are dirty. Just kidding. But you know, if people come from the food court or whatever, and they're touching clothes and stuff, you get your nasty hands all around, I want you putting on my clothes. Also, I think it, you know, some of these pieces are worth a, a decent amount of money. So I like to have them wrapped up in the clothing, uh, or wrapped up in the plastic. And so, you know, we have like essential hoodies, a bunch of different stuff like that. Uh, we've had so much Supreme in that I kind of have just like a whole Supreme section right here with a bunch of different shirts, a bunch of different hoodies. All this stuff, by the way, is constantly being added to sneakerflavors.com. If you haven't gone to sneakerflavors.com, please come check that out. And then right over here is really, really, really quick. I know it's been like a fast tour and I'm sorry, I don't mean to rush through it, but I do want to do like a proper one soon. Over here is... The Yeezy wall. So we have, I know it's kind of pathetic, but these are all of the Yeezys we have right now. If you're a consigner, if you have shoes and you're in South Dakota, Minnesota, North Dakota, we need Yeezys. Yeezys, the reason why it looks like this too, by the way, is because literally we sell out of our Yeezys so fast. Like when we have the Yeezys and they just, they go immediately. It's just like a thing here in the Midwest. Like I said, we're two, three years behind everything when it comes to like, style or whatever, whatever you want to say, but that's okay, you know, I love it to be out here. But anyways, we're running low on the yeast, so this is what we have. We have a variety, you know what I mean? We have some good stuff, like the blue and stuff like that, and some other ones. And uh, we have multiple sizes of it. Of course, you know, everybody's got to have a corn cob one. Got that right there. So yeah, we got a bunch of stuff, got the mannequins. Really quick, I'm going to show you the back. Let's hope it's not dirty, because I told them to clean it up before I came. All right, so when you come right back here from the picture backdrop, this is the back. We have a really high-tech way of getting to the back right here. It's called a Walmart bath curtain. And blam. So right here, we have Jordan 1s. Kind of like how we have it set up out there. I want to have it set it up back here. And I want it to be super easy for one of my employees to find shoes, for me to find shoes. I don't want them just running around, checking out, going everywhere, and not being able to find it. So we have Jordan 1s by size all the way through here. Then I went to Jordan 3s, and then Jordan 4s all the way down, and then Jordan 6, 7, 8, 9, 10s, 11s, and then like, you know, my 11s, 12s, 13s, 14s, these are all like kind of right in here too. Um, this is all the ones that we have right now in stock for Jordan. It's pretty much like a whole Jordan wall uh, side over here, but again, they're all organized by size, number pretty much by, you know, by style. So that way, if somebody wants a Jordan 8, you got a Jordan 8 out, or Jordan 11 size 8. My employees know exactly where all the 11s are. You scroll down, you find an 8, bam. That way you can be fast, go. I want, like, I am very, if anybody knows me, they know I have extremely bad OCD and ADD. So, we'll put those two things together in a sneaker shop. It's crazy, right? But uh, at least when I have it back here and I have everything organized by size, by shoe, by color, by style, they know that they can come back here and grab it fast. And when it gets busy in the mall, it gets busy. I don't know if you've been to some uh, busy malls, but it gets really busy sometimes. You need to be able to run back here, grab the shoe, and, and peace out. Here's my Yeezy wall right now. Again, pretty pathetic. But all these stickers you see right here, we also do consignment like I told you. And uh, so those stickered shoes are for whatever consigner it is. Uh, for every consigner, they get a uh, color and we put their initials in there unless they were one of the first colors. So here's some various stuff. Here's Da's desk. You met Da up front. This is Da's desk. He comes in. He <laughs> eats his food. He comes in and eats uh, breakfast. Eight meals a day. Eats dinner, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten meals a day. This is pretty much where he does it. Uh, these are the shoes right here. Now, what's funny about this, right? I brought a full fridge and a microwave for the guys, right? I was, they're, they're just like constantly complaining. Can I have a fridge? You know, why are we going out to eat all the time? We can't afford it, blah, blah, blah. I get them a fridge and I get them a microwave. They never use it. They still go out to eat constantly. The fridge gets so, used. Yeah, the fridge gets put for waters. That's about it, which I restock for up to and sodas and I put energy drinks in there and look what's in here now. Nothing. Oh, water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, so we finally get one. So over here, randomness. You know when you go to stores, they're gonna have Air Maxes, they're gonna have Vans, they're gonna have like Sakai's and a bunch of different stuff. I made kind of a miscellaneous wall and I did it by size here too. We're not a huge crazy sneaker shop yet. We will be, but right now, this is how we do it because it's the easiest for us. Again, it's by size, style, and we know if they're grabbing something from over there. The layout is the same back here as it is out there. My Jordans wrap around the store the same way as it wraps around back here. So you go Jordan 1s over here, they'll be over here. You go 3s, 4s, they're going to be right here. The same way it is out there, it is back here, and it is by size. 
So, if you come and work for me someday and you're gonna be looking for shoes and you say it's hard, you're crazy. And then right here is intake. So right now, like we, we bring in shoes every day, we buy new shoes every day, or our consigners are always constantly dropping shoes off every day. I'm constantly getting shoes in the mail, constantly getting shoes in. This is our intake thing, and we try to empty this every day. So right now, this is today. It's actually been stickered and emptied once. It's been kind of a crazy week this week, and these are the ones that we brought in today that need to be stickered, uh, put in, and if they're sneaker flavors or mine, they don't put a sticker on it. They just get them in the system and put them out. But until they're officially in the system, they sit in here until they go out there. Very, 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 very important to be organized in this because if you get anything mixed up or, you know, if you're a sneaker store guy or a reseller, you know you probably sold a shoe or sold a size seven and an eight together or a nine and a six and the customer leaves with two size shoes that are wrong and they come back later and they're all mad, blah, blah, blah. With this system that I put in place here, it's damn near impossible to do that. You always, when you sell the shoe, check out the sizes make sure whenever you're buying shoes too when people buy you or when people bring in shoes to sell to you check the sizes then too because i've actually bought shoes where i bought a 10 and 11 and they came from a customer like that should never happen but always check the sizes especially when you sell it but even when you buy it right here's the dunk wall so we have a whole bunch of dunks um separated again size color sbs all separated by style color and, or not style color but style and size so we just added another shelf in here right here plan on going way up on it we need to do a little bit of restocking this is probably about half of what we normally have in dunks uh, mids so we kind of put all the jordan one lows and the mids and stuff together they're all right here this is where we bring and put them all around by size and by again style pretty simple man i mean it's uh it's a lot when you do it all uh, once you're in the beginning it's a lot of work, but once it's done, it's just all about maintaining it. And once you maintain it, it's super easy. It's kind of like if you dirty a dish, you gotta wash a dish right away, right? Well, if you don't do that, then they keep adding up and they keep adding up and adding up. That's happened in this back room many times. But uh, now with this new system we have in place, and just, you know, if you're a manager or if you're a store owner, make sure you just stay on your people to do it. You know what I mean? And it's not that hard. At the end of the day, just have them come back and just rearrange the back room. If you have an uncluttered uh, room back here, you'll have an uncluttered mind. It's really gonna help you out. So that's pretty much the whole store in a really, really fast fashion. If we can get, we've been really trying to get 50 likes on our videos and we're gonna be dropping a lot more videos. As you can see, we just dropped another video and now this one just came right after, you know? So we're really gonna be hitting it hard. I wanna shoot for two, three videos a week, a minimum of two videos a week. We're gonna really, really put everything we have into this and uh, we're gonna keep rocking. But other than that, if you haven't liked, comment, subscribe, please do that. Please like, please hit that like button. It helps us out so much. I don't know how else to say it. And other than that, thanks for watching. Peace.